this much. <laughs> I want to make sure. Okay. Good afternoon, honored guests. My dream, an education, and a chance to read. A chance to develop my brain and reach my academic potential. A chance to go to school and become a reader in my community. All my life, this has been my dream. A dream shared about millions of children around the world who, because of circumstances beyond their control, never get the opportunity to go to school or reach their potentials. I was one of those children. After 15 years of struggle, endless wars, loss of loved ones, fraud from my home country, and exodus across continent with nothing to come my own, I stand before you today living that dream, a high school graduate and a first year college student at GTCC on my way to earning a college degree. I was born in a small country called Burundi in Central Africa. When I was only 18 months old, both of my parents were killed in civil war. Soon after my parents' death, my sister and I fled to the neighboring country of Rwanda, hoping for relief and peace. However, things turned out just opposite. The 1994 Rwanda genocide broke out leaving about 800,000 people dead. We were caught in the middle. To say this was a nightmare for me, my family, and everyone else who survived it is an understatement. Yes, I survived, but soon I realized I was going to be a refugee for the rest of my life. My family and I began a journey that would last for many years, wandering from country to country, seeking peace, relief, and some place to call home. Always, I asked myself the same question over and over. Why are people so brutal? Why do they kill their own kind like wild animals? These questions I couldn't answer. To be honest, because I couldn't read or write, I didn't know what the weight jumps had meant. For six years, we wandered through Central and Southern Africa. Finally, we settled in a place called Meheva Refugee Camp in Zambia. Life wasn't easy or fair. Our shelters were made out of mud bricks and roofed by glass. Adequate food was considered a problem. And because of lack of clean water, good medical care, and medication, many people died from diseases like typhus, typhoid, and malaria. During these years of struggle, I held on to my dream, a dream to learn, to read and write. I wanted to be able to understand the meaning of the words like genocide and refugee, words I had been hearing all my life. This dream sometimes seemed impossible though, because books and materials cost money my family didn't have. But my life was about to change. One day, I met a woman in a nearby town. She offered me a job as a houseboy. I was 14 years. As soon as I arrived, she was a teacher. I asked her to pay me by teaching me to read and write in English on weekends. Two years later, I was finally able to read and write English at the elementary level. In 2009, things again took a promising turn. My family and I received the news we would come to the U.S. and the United Nations Refugee Program. It was a moment of great joy. I would no longer be a refugee. I was go when I go to school full time for the first time in my life. 
When I came to Greensboro, I enrolled in newcomer school. It was apparent that many of the other students were refugees like me. I could not speak English well. Because I could speak 11 languages, I was able to help teachers and students as we all worked hard to improve our language skills. We soon realized though that the term at newcomer school is short and the transition to traditional school is hard. I managed that transition. By during the winter break of 2010, I heard about the middle college at GTCC Greensboro from two friends. They told me how great the school was, how it might be a good fit for me. Small classes, teachers who worked one-on-one -on -one with students to ensure success, plus a chance to take college classes while still in high school. Wow. <laughs> this was what I was looking for, especially I had just started school full time at the age of 17. At my interview, I was nervous. But once I heard the kind words from the interview committee, I just felt I belonged at the middle college at GTCC Greensboro. I soon found out the teachers were more than teachers. They were like parents who knew each student like they were their own children. A loving family where everyday teachers worked hard to ensure our success, never letting any problem get in the way. Often meant extra tutoring time before school and holidays and main meeting with the school counselor, Ms. Kianhin, to discuss about my future. <laughs> Sometimes I asked myself this question, are these teachers paid extra money <laughs> to work so hard? <laughs> As a result of this family support, I was soon making honor and receiving awards each quarter. By the spring of 2011, I began to think it was time for me to begin to give back to others. Deep inside, I thought if everyone in the world had an opportunity of an education, that education I dreamed about for so many years, war might not be an option. In the month that I followed, I organized book drive to school and quickly gathered 375 books to send to a school for orphans in Zambia. Then I realized I could help in Greensboro. I began to work with a local nonprofit organization that fixes used computers. Once in working order, we teach the students at the newcomer school how to use them and give them the computers. The students take the computers home and teach their parents what they have learned so their parents could also become computer literate. Sort of, an, of each one teach one concept. In addition, each semester, I go back to newcomer school and work with the students as they transition to their new schools so the move would be a little smoother. My middle college family likes to call this grading by example. I just know it gives people a better chance of rising their dreams. Last fall, I started college classes at GTCC. And yes, I end and end my first college class. This spring, I continued my class full time at GTCC. So a refugee who can lead at the age of 14 is now a college freshman. Thanks to, to the early middle college program. People always ask me, what are you going to do next with Zero? In the short term, I plan to continue at GTCC this fall and work toward my associate degree. After that, I hope to complete my college education and perhaps 
move into more active law in my community, maybe even politics. I sometimes dream of ending up in White House. <laughs> but for some reason, my civics teacher, <laughs> Ms. Baker, tells me there's a constitution issue standing in my way. <laughs> I tell her, just remember, Quizera never lets anything stand in the way of his dreams. <laughs> no matter where I go or what I do, I will never forget the courage and the support of the staff at the Early Middle College at GTCC Greensboro, who stepped into my parents' shoes and took that parenting role for me. Thank you. That is the lesson I want to teach others. If you believe, it can happen. If you work hard and you are lucky enough to get support you need, it will become a reality. Thank you. May God bless you.